time. Today I'm wearing my Omega Speedmaster with triple date. I actually got this as a present from my wife several years ago. There's times that I wear this for like three months straight, but I haven't been wearing it for a while. I'm gonna put it back into my regular rotation. I really love Omegas. I just spent $3,500 on a bunch of Rolex parts. I got to go through them. It was kind of like sight unseen. I don't know if there's any good stuff in there. I took a risk. The guy was asking 10 grand. And based on what I saw, I offered him like 2,500. He got me up to 3,500. A lot of stuff is stuff that is going to take us a while to get our money back or even make money on it. But um, it, it's good to have these parts. Sometimes people need a new scrap or something like that. So let's go through it. I actually went through some stuff last night and I kind of priced it out. Um, and I put prices on there. And again, some of this stuff looks like it's trash or nothing much, but we'll go through it and see how much we can co come out with. So this is all this stuff here. It looks just, it looks like a bunch of junk that we got for Again, we paid $3,500, and some of these I organized. They weren't, like, organized. They were like this, so <laughs> thanks. <laughs> so I'm going to have to go through everything, get everything organized like this, and put some prices on it. But let me show you some stuff really quick. Here's some hang tags. We priced them at 15 bucks a piece. This is something like this. Uh, came on a vintage a date just, 45 bucks. Here we got like fluted bezel in solid gold for a ladies 31 millimeter day just 175. A Submariner dial, we priced that at 500 bucks. Some more of these hang tags, uh, price them at around 30 to $45. Uh, we have one that goes on a Daytona, so this one's gonna be priced at 100 bucks. Uh, we got some dials, Panerai 300 bucks, Frank Mueller 100 bucks. Some more hang tags like that. I used the dial for a Speedmaster, 100 bucks. More hang tags. Uh, ladies gold champagne dial, we priced this at $85. Ladies day just tapestry dial, we priced this at 200 bucks. Then we got a lot of straps. This strap he told me is AP, but it's not genuine AP, but it's still, I priced it at $75, a good quality strap. Uh, we got, this was like one of the most expensive things in the lot. It was, it's a genuine lizard strap, uh, Rolex, new old stock, made for the Beach Daytona green chrysophrase dial watch. And we priced that one at 750. So again, I paid 3,500 bucks for all this. So I'm trying to get my money back and make, make profit. Um, I, yeah, as you can see, when you're looking at it, it looks like it's just a bunch of junk. But to me, this is just treasure in here. Uh, this is a used Rolex strap for Daytona. I believe it's, yeah, genuine crocodile. Priced this at 100 bucks. Believe it or not, but people people pay good money even for old straps like this. They're old, they're worn, but people don't have them or they need them. 100 bucks. Let's keep going through. Here, uh, another hang tag, white one. Uh, I believe this one is for... This is for a sea dweller, so this one's 70 bucks right there. Um, rubber B straps, these are for Rolex sports model. Priced that at 175. Rolex genuine crocodile strap. I didn't put a price on this, but it's gonna be like 100 bucks because it's used. Another rubber B strap for a 44 millimeter sea uh, dweller, no, Yacht Master. Priced this at 200 bucks. Submariner strap, rubber B, but this is a used strap, 100 bucks. Uh, Breguet strap in genuine crocodile is slightly used, but $150. Um, this is a rubber B strap for a ladies OP and, or 31 millimeter, they just 175. Uh, another Submariner strap, rubber B, but this one is new old stock, this one's 225. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna call the guy back to give him the estimates. Hey, Ali. Hey, what's up, boss? Hey, how are you? I'm good, man. 
Hey, uh, I got estimates on the watches you guys just dropped off. Yeah. All right, the one with the bezel changeover, that's done. It's 20 bucks. You guys can come pick it up if you want. Thank you, boss. All right, the other one is $1,000. You know, you have broken parts in here. It's not the crown. The crown is totally fine. Rusted center wheel, uh, setting wheels are broken. Yeah, you got a lot of work that needs to be done. So you're looking at parts and overhaul service inside out, $1,000 if you want to do it. Okay, and how long would it take? Dad, do we have the parts in stock? Do, do we have the parts in stock for the Rolex or do we got to order? Yeah. Ali, I would say at least a week, bro. Okay, so uh, it's rusted inside? Uh, some of the parts, yeah, the center wheel's rusted. This is why the other parts broke, because it's rusted. The water got inside somehow, so. Dang. Yeah, so uh, that's why I wanted you to call to, ex uh, to explain. Uh, so, um, I think it's, uh, I'm going to call you back on that one ASAP just to give you a uh, yes or no. Mm -hmm. um, so, we, uh, like, it's customer's watch, right? Yeah. And a uh, customer came in, they wanted a green dial. Okay. So we ordered a green dial. I had Gillian put in the dial. Okay. Right? And then they got back the watch, and then the watch is like if you try and set the time, it doesn't work anymore. Yeah, it's right? got. They, you see that? It's they, like it's right. for whatever reason, it doesn't like. So they, we put in the dial, and then it stopped working. So the customer like, "What the heck?" You know. I know, Ollie, so but here's the. It back in, and now it's this. Yeah. So I don't know. If, uh, and and so that's why I was like, let me get a you know proper. Let me see what it is. Yeah. Uh, so thousand bucks. So uh, that's my cost, right? Yes, sir. That's it. But okay. he, here's the okay. reason. Here's the reason, Ali, sometimes we don't want to touch customers' watches to do partial yes. repairs like that because you do something like that and then th this, is not, this is not something that Gillian did. This is something that no, 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 was no. already there. But see, now, yes. now it's like it's on you guys and it's also on Gillian. And e even for us, this is why I don't want to, like, for example, I could just polish the watch for you for 150 no yeah. problem. But I give it back to you. The watch is not working. So this is why I don't like to do partial repairs because in the long run, we end up as the bad guys and we end up losing money. So, you know, yeah. like if a customer comes in and wants a dial swap, you, sh you should always check everything out, make sure the watch is 100%. working. Otherwise, now you see you guys get blamed for it. That's the problem. Yes, exactly. Yeah. No, I, I agree. Let me, let me call. Yeah. And uh, just just get the, the verification, and then uh, I'll let you know ASAP. Okay, but if you can send your uh, guy back to pick up yeah. the other one, it's ready. So if you guys okay. want it today, you what got it because we close at two. Uh, two. Yeah. Two. Okay, I'll pick. I'll send them over right now. Sounds good, bro. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Man. Okay. Thanks bye. So I told him twenty dollars already, Dad. Don't worry. Yeah, I'm gonna give this. I'm gonna give them back to you. They're still thinking on this one. But see how they are. They changed the dial over for the customer, and they had Gillian do it. And now they're blaming Gillian. The customer is blaming them. But this is not something that Gillian did just by changing the dial. I just had a new dealer that's come in to us to uh, to do his Rolexes now because he says he's not happy with the Vaughn with the. I'm sorry with the Gillians, but. There are people that are not happy with us, they go to Gillian's. There are people that are not happy with Gillian's, they come to us. I mean, the best that we can do is the best that we can do. Yeah. Uh, you know. They want to hear something different. That's all they but here, here, here's, a, here's a situation, for example, with this day just. The customer wants a dial swap. He does the dial swap. He, it, there's no way that he's a skilled watchmaker. He's not going to break the center wheel, the winding parts. And the watch has a little bit of rust inside. That's not his fault. You know, if the customer doesn't want to pay the money, but this is why I don't like to do stuff like that because then we get blamed for it. We're like, oh, it was fine before I brought it in and now it's not working anymore. So, but we told him, we told Sharif's a long time ago, don't do stuff like that. I mean, you, you want to make, you know, a hundred bucks off of doing a dial swap for the customer, but now you're going to end up coughing up a thousand bucks to fix it. It's like, it's not worth the... It's not worth the headache. Hello. All right, so some more rubber beast traps. This one is for a Sky Dweller. I priced it at 190. It's new old stock. Uh, rubber beast trap for a Datejust for ladies. I priced it at 175. Then genuine alligator strap for Daytona, 425 right here. This is a beat up strap. 
for a Rolex Daytona, but I priced it at 200 bucks. This is kind of like an old pair of sneakers that it, that is rare. I didn't clean it up or anything, but it's very hard to find a genuine Rolex alligator strap um, in white color. So somebody's going to buy this. Uh, you know, it seems like a lot of money. seems like junk when you look at it, but we're going to clean it up a little bit and resell it. Some Rolex parts that I really don't need, but I priced that at 100 bucks. It's a part for a Rolex caliber 4130 chronograph. And here's another, actually this was probably the most expensive thing out of the lot. And again, it seems like nothing, but this is a strap for Rolex Daytona turquoise dial beach series. And we priced this at 950 and this is the short size. They have a regular size and they have a short size, 950 bucks. It will sell. I don't know if I've made my money back so far, but uh, another rubber beast strap for a Submariner, I believe, 225. This is another rare strap for a Rolex Daytona because it's in pink. We priced this at 350. Uh, rubber B strap for Sky Dweller, new old stock, priced at 225. Rubber B strap, uh, priced this one at 185. This is for a deep sea. And two more straps here. Rubber B, priced this at 150. Let me see what this is for. Not sure what it's for, but I'll figure it out. This is for a ladies 31 millimeter rubber B strap in pink. Um, this actually will go good on the pink uh, Oyster Perpetual, the 31 millimeter. So it's a cool rubber B strap for that. 175, we priced that up. Then included in this lot, we got three Seiko watches that we need to work on. Seiko Pogue. So it looks like it needs some work. After we restore this, we're probably going to ask like $750 on it. These other ones, probably around $100. Uh, you, got, you guys close at 2, right? Yeah, Saturdays we close at 2. Um, if I brought in a watch today, can I have it adjusted like to just have some length taken out? Yeah, that we have to do that on the spot because we got to measure it to your wrist. It takes like 2 to 5 minutes at the most. Yeah, yeah, anytime, just, you know, obviously before two. Right, okay. No, I just wanted to make sure, because today's my son's birthday party, and I just wanted to make sure you guys weren't too busy. Or... Yeah, anytime, sir. We'll see you, okay? All right, thank you. All righty, take care. Bye-bye. Bye. Cool. <laughs> he's like, I don't want to try it on. I try it on. Mandatory. He wants to get a job with us, so no, he's you, trying. You spoke to me. You have to try it on. <laughs> you go make me take to this guy. Prison guard. Prison guard. Come on. Yeah. But the, the difference is that's an ETA-based movement. This is an in-house in movement, yeah. And, and see the thickness? That is not very thick. Yeah, I see that. Yeah. And then yeah. that's because of the movement, the way they get some the weight to it, huh? Yeah. But it looks, looks really good on Yeah, it does. And work out a deal. What does he want? Uh, Forty-five. Say. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna let him. Uh, I'm gonna let him let him do the sales. <laughs> One penny. Uh, Forty-five. <laughs> yeah, but anyways, yeah, that that's an in-house movement made by them. I, it's you know, it's better than any movement using a Rolex Datejust or OP or GMT or Submariner. But so more intricate. You can work on that easily. No, you can't. You, you can to. work on what easily? I oh, mean, on Rolex. No, I, I'm talking about the part in here. If something goes wrong, seven seven fifty. It's available. Yeah. You know yeah. how much those movements are now? For a no idea. Thousand dollars now. Yeah, for that ago, for that watch, for but not on this. If no, that's this, an yeah. movement. Yeah. That, that one. You can still work on it, but if parts go bad, of course you cannot get parts for this. You have to send to IWC. So. And is that under warranty? It is. Because usually, yeah. This is a 2022 and their warranty, you know, they yeah, have like the longest. your first service is free. Yeah, and they have the longest warranty really in the, well. How many years? Seven years. No, seven years. Eight, eight. Eight. Is it eight yeah, now? The one yeah, that I But you can, ex you you can extend, uh, like you go online. When you, the cool thing about them is like when you buy them pre-owned, you go online, you can put them under your name and extend the warranty. Uh, yeah, I guess I it's that. up to That's eight years. Yeah. Did every, made it like new. Rolex only has me one, Rolex three years? No, no, five years. Oh, five, five years. years. It costs nothing. <laughs>
I thought you'd buy that. Uh, I was thinking <laughs> about it, but uh, you're, I think it looks better on you. I think it looks better on you, but... No, you're a good-looking uh, guy. Are you married? Yes. Oh, uh, then, then don't uh, wear it, because, or don't buy it, because... No, I, I, I... Too many women will be chasing you. <laughs> not, not because of the watch. <laughs> well, it's oh, of course, nice. yeah, not for the watch. <laughs> yeah, I like it all right. He, he's trying to get a job with us. So he's I, I can see that. He, no, I, I'm going to work here. I can't work You get a kickback, back, something like that? He's pushing, no, I, I do home inspections he's pushing watches on our clients. No, there's a reason, because I do my job. I get the money. Thank you. Have a nice day. That's it. A couple hours and never see him again. No, but yeah, that's that's all we have right now in IWC. But Let me think about that one. It is a little bit big and beefy, but I mean, yeah. you got the arms for it. Though. Not really. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it doesn't come with watch. It's just a watch, right? This is just watch only, yeah. But I mean, the price point, four grand, is cheap. What? Uh, what's the name of that? Uh, I mean, IWC, what model? It's the Pilot. Yeah, Pilot. Yeah. But it's a limited edition. See the emblem on the back? Uh, how, how do they? It's the, Edition in English, Le, it's Le Petit, Little Prince. Like, little have prince, you ever yeah. read the book, The Little Prince, yeah. uh, made by a pilot? He wrote that book, and it's about like it. fantasy land, about whatever some guy. Yeah, I mean, it's just, just like kind of like flowers, friends, look on the back. Yeah. See, yeah, is that logo? Limited edition. They only made so many. Oh, okay, I see. Yeah, he's doing a good job, so I don't. I know he's doing your job. He's doing your job. No, I just you. studied about a six position, adjusted six, which usually they're five. There you so. go. Yeah. Okay. Let me think about that one. And if you ever fly, oh, and, and then you drop the altitude, do you fly? It won't change. You don't fly. Oh, I don't fly. I'm just kidding. I, I, I don't fly. I'm yeah. Not yeah. <laughs> oh. And there's a Bugari. That, that's a real super deal. These new are uh, ninety six hundred dollars. World timer. It's kind of hard to read, but if you pull it out, look at it. And it has an insert that you can adjust. Oh, so when you go watches. to France, you'll know. Well, he likes watches. I mean, he's over. How many watches have you owned over like the last 20 years, Paul? All the real good ones. I wish I kept the uh, JLC. I love. I. Well, you've had a lot of Rolexes too. I've had a lot yeah. of Rolexes. Yeah. You've sold us a lot of I a lot of your watches. A lot of yeah. Good ones. Yeah. I remember the Batman you sold to me. What else did you sell to uh, me in Explorer, Rolex? Uh, Explorer? Uh, Dave Holmes, the root beer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh. A whole bunch of. Yeah. But I just want one because I'm old now. Ah, oh, you're not that. Come on now. <laughs> four years old. I gotta quit. Never too old for toys. Never too old to wear a watch, yeah. I found a younger wife. I have a cat. And he needs the money. Money, right? no, uh, she makes all the money. She got her money? Yeah, she does. All your paycheck. I saw your watch and gave her all the money. All right, Raymond, let me think about that one. Uh, no problem, yeah. So, uh, yeah. Got your number. Yeah. It, and if I want it, can you work out a deal? Well, on which one? Um, uh, that pilot there. The, I mean, 4000 is my cost. 4000 is your cost? Yes, yeah, so 4000 is my best, yeah. And actually, that was the price for him because he's my friend. So, yeah. Okay. But I, I, will, I will give it to you for four thousand. Okay. I would consider. It. Oh, absolutely. I, I don't think they make that size anymore. So it, here's All the thing. This watch, I actually picked up about. One of I was at the last show for like three weeks ago. I picked it up for thirty five hundred. So originally I paid thirty five hundred. I sold it to a guy for four thousand. This is just in the last like three weeks. He came back. He bought another watch from me. He bought a Rolex, but I gave him back four thousand. So I'm technically I'm four thousand in it. So, so I don't mind selling it for four thousand. What I paid the second time around, but Look at I saw this in the photos that he sent me. Um, it looked real, but when I got in person, I can tell that this is a fake bracelet because look at how these come out. This is just a this is just a very cheap bracelet actually but the clasp is a real rolex rolex clasp so we can possibly use this for a client if if their clasp breaks on like a day just we can use that so 
Uh, not a total loss. And just for the clasp alone, I'm sure we'll get a hundred bucks. And we got a lot of uh, a lot of inserts, and I haven't gone through all these to see if they're. You know, I know some of them, like I can tell, obviously that's aftermarket, it's even labeled, but some of these are original inserts. So we'll go through these. These can be anywhere from like $25 to 150 bucks, something like that, if they're genuine. Aftermarket ones, they sell under 20 bucks. All right, here we got like a smooth bezel for a 31 millimeter ladies Rolex. That's probably 25 bucks. Um, we have some hands, but I don't know what kind of hands are, and I think this, these are aftermarket hands here, so I'm probably not going to add any value to that. These hang tags and these bezel protectors, I'm just going to, you know, pair them up with some of the watches I have, so not much value there. This is a Daytona used crystal, no value there. Uh, we got some links here. If these are complete, these are like $25 each. I got more links I got to go through. All right, here I haven't gone through this, but let's see. All right, it looks like a whole bunch of other links. End links. Hmm. Original spring bars. If these are solid gold, these are like $100 each. Uh, probably for a Rolex president, but these are $100 each right here. So that's awesome. Dump this stuff out. We got a lot of different links. Uh, most of these links, we're looking at a minimum of like $25 each. Although like Submariner or Daytona links, these are like 45 bucks. A lot of these are like 25, 35. So I don't know, all together here, probably at least 250 bucks, something like that. We have some more dials. I don't know if these are usable, though. These are nice dials, but I think they have cracks in them. Yeah, like mother of pearl dials, but they have some cracks. Well, let's set this to the side. And here, again, I got to go through this, see what I got. It looks like a whole bunch of blanks. I don't use this. This is for, this is for dealers that they buy Rolex, old Rolex dials because they are original dials, they're stamped on the back, but they buy these to, to refinish, like whenever you see a, a, that one's bent, that's garbage. Whenever you see a Rolex Datejust, for example, with aftermarket diamond dials and stuff like that, this is what they use for them. They refinish these and they uh, add diamonds to them. I mean, I don't know if there's anything special in here. It looks like they're all blanks. But these used to be like 10 bucks a piece, so I don't know. There's at least 400 bucks in here just on blank dials. That's about it. I don't know if I made money or I lost money, but he wanted 10 grand for this. It was a lot. I got it for 35. Still maybe a lot, but we'll see. I can't believe like sometimes something as little as this has so much value. Original solid gold spring bars. $100 a pop. 200 bucks right there. And a lot of times when we're buying stuff like this, a lot of it gets thrown away. Like here, used parts. I mean, what am I going to do with that? But I'm going to go through it before I throw anything away.